Hi there, in this video we're going to be solving the following problem involving related rates and derivatives. Now, air is being pumped into a spherical balloon so that its volume increases at a rate of 80 centimeters cubed per second. How fast is the radius of the balloon increasing when the diameter is 40 centimeters? So right when it hits 40 centimeters, how fast or what is the rate of radius change for the balloon? Okay, so let's first start by analyzing what kind of information we're given. Well, at the, well, the first thing I see is that we're given the volume. The volume increases at a rate of 80 centimeters cubed per second. This is a rate of volume change. So that, in other words, the, it's just, this is going to be dv over dt. This is equal to 80 centimeters, or just 80, we should say. Well, let's just put 80 centimeters cubed per second. Okay, so we know dv over dt. Whenever you see this kind of form, whenever you're dealing with some kind of related rates problem, it's usually going to be over time. And that would be, it's denoted like d over t as well, usually. So whenever you see a variable of some kind, be it volume, speed, anything like that, and over dt, th that is what a rate would look like in these types of problems. So we're given dv over dt. And we're asked, how fast is the radius of the balloon increasing when the diameter is 40 centimeters. So we're given, in this exact instance we're trying to find, the diameter is going to be 40 centimeters, right? Well, if you divide a diameter by 2, you're going to get the radius, which means we're also given the radius. And the reason I'm mentioning the radius is because if you look at this, this formula, this, is, this formula here is for the volume of a sphere. And we're going to be needing that because it's asking what is the, the rate of change when you're dealing with an, a balloon that's inflating? A balloon is a sphere, roughly, in this question at least. And it involves the radius, so it's important. Now the radius we're given is half of 40, so that's going to be a 20, 20 centimeters, I should say. Now the next thing we want to do is find the derivative of this function right there. So I'm not going to go over how to find derivatives, but or at least not in this video. Um, so if you take the derivative of volume, it's going to give you essentially dv over dt because you're taking the derivative of a variable, essentially, a variable we don't actually know the answer to. Um, so it's equal to, then we have 4 pi over 3. So if we just go like this, we can just kind of separate them. And now the variable we have here is r cubed. If you take the derivative of that, you're essentially going to be multiplying by 3r squared. And, well, this, this essentially is the derivative of our formula that we're going to be using. And the derivative form is exactly what we need. But, of course, we can simplify this a bit. Notice the threes here, right there and right there. They both cancel out, so let's just get rid of those threes. And let's plug in the value for dv over dt, because we know that. It's right over here. It's 80 centimeters, so it's, it's 80. So let's put 80 inside there, equals, and we have 4 pi. Uh, multiply r squared. So what is r? Well, r is 20. So 20 squared. Okay, and then one thing that I forgot to do, and I keep forgetting to do this, is whenever you take the, the um, derivative of a variable you don't actually kind of know the number or the value of, uh, you usually, at least in these questions, you have to add on dr over dt. And of course we have to add it down here as well. So let's multiply dr over dt. And then what we want to do because uh, dr over dt is the is the essentially the rate at which the radius is changing, and that's exactly what we're looking for in this question, which means we need to solve for it. And if we were to do that, it would be 80 divided by 4 pi, multiply 20 squared, which is 400, and all of that is equal to dr over dt. And this is exactly this is our final answer essentially, but if we wanted to simplify it a bit more just so we can actually kind of see it, well, the 80 can go into 400 uh, five times roughly, so um, th there would be a 1 on top if you kind of cancelled it out, and you would have a 5 at the bottom, 5 multiply 4 is 20, so we have a 20 here, and we just tag on that pi, and this is our, this is our answer, our rate, it's changing this well, 1 over 20 pi uh, centimeters per second, essentially. So centimeters per second. And this is our final answer. Thank you for watching, and I do hope you're having a fantastic day.